Hi and welcome to the fifth section of this course, Service Clustering. In this section, we are going to take a look at what Redis protocol has to offer in terms of clustering services. We will take a look at what clustering is all about. We will take a look at how Azure provides us with the nodes that we can utilize to perform the clustering actions. And lastly, we will take a look at the concept of sharding and how it helps us cluster the service. In this first video, we will go through an overview of the clusters and what clustering actually means. In a very typical environment, there is always a single node that hosts all of the web APIs or the services that your users consume. Similarly, Azure also provides you with a single node service that you pay for. In the same manner, when we created the service for Redis on the Azure, Azure provided us with a single node. A single node service is easier to manage, cheaper to pay for and also it gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of data storage and data extraction. But the problem is that the connected users on a single node are limited. Similarly, the latency or the input output throughput is also limited in a single node environment. In a production environment, you always stumble upon the cases where you have to scale up the service to provide a smoother experience for your users. And this scaling up of the services or the server nodes is what is called the clustering because a cluster contains different nodes of the service running individually and maintaining the load of the application data. Now in the Redis environment, the clusters basically are the nodes or the servers in the Azure infrastructure that run the Redis program. The benefit that the cluster provides us or the cluster of the Redis provides us with is that we can easily distribute the loads of the servers, of the users, of the data across all the nodes individually. The end result is that now the latency has decreased and the throughput of the servers has increased automatically because each individual server is responsible for handling a partition or a percentage of the data and the traffic that has to be served. But one thing that we need to realize is that clustering is not similar to what replication has to offer. Replication as we will see in the last section under the advanced section where Azure Geo Replication is to be discussed. We will discuss how Azure Redis service provides the replication in the cluster nodes such as the master slave nodes. And we will also discuss how Azure provides us an entire duplicate set of the data at a different region in the globe. We will see that in a later module. Now this is not a graphical representation of a cluster because it does not contain the nodes. Anyhow, it's basically a chart that represents what a cluster has to manage. A cluster basically contains the data in a distributed way so that it can manage the load of the users that are coming to fetch the data or to insert the data in the Redis clusters. And this ultimately improves the throughput of the servers because each individual server is responsible merely for a percentage of the users trying to access a percentage of the data. So the more nodes in a cluster, the better the throughput. And the best part of this is the Redis servers are already managed by the Azure because Azure Redis Cache is a platform as a service offering which means that the platform and the underlying hardware resources or the software program patches are all managed by the Azure and we as a service provider do not have to care about the servers themselves. And just as we discussed in the previous slides about the replication, each node in the cluster can have one to n number of replicas. The one node which is the master has to be available and there can be n number of slave replicas. Redis uses the slave replicas to reconstruct the database in case of the failure of the master node. So in short, the Redis cache service automatically manages the Redis protocol for clustering because Redis protocol is what defines how the data has to be distributed across the nodes. And clusters are used to distribute the load. The difference between a distributed clustered node and a single node server is that even if one of the nodes goes down, we still have a lot of data in the Redis cache that we can construct other services from. And clustering is a methodology in which we can distribute the load, users and the data across the service. So there is no single point of failure for entire of the cluster or the data that is stored in the service. But once again, Redis does not guarantee high availability or the consistency, which we will see in a later module how Redis has to replicate or at least store a backup of the current state of the application. And also, clusters are not the replication solution because your service is still existing only on a single region inside the Azure platform. 